Hey, this is Gareth and Bruce. This is our first attempt at a podcast. We just, just don't, don't know, know where it's gonna, gonna go. go. You got more of the gruff voice. I got more of the soft and feminine voice. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I don't know. I felt a little snobby when we hit 10 episodes. Okay, that's an interesting question. The two of us can, can be Vin Diesel. Gareth can drive like him. And I can <laughs> look, can look like, like him. him. <laughs> Welcome to Spaghetti Junction. My name is Gareth. My name is Bruce. And we talk about things. We just don't, don't know, know where, where they're, they're going to go. go. Hello and welcome to the Spaghetti Junction podcast. My name is Bruce. From a very interesting sound studio. <laughs> a delightful tablecloth that you thought was great. So, <laughs> uh, Hello, welcome again. My name is Gareth. And my name is Bruce. We talk about things. We just, don't just don't know, know where, where they're going to go. So because we're facing the worse and worse freaking load shitting shit. Uh, my word. Yeah. Uh, it's just better to be here because I'm house-sitting place and they have solar power. So the power here doesn't get affected at all. That's cool. Like yeah. the whole way through. So we just thought, well, let's just do it here because we tried, and which is why we haven't put out uh, episode f- last week. Yeah. We didn't have one last week. That makes a few people irritable. So we apologize. <laughs> Uh, because the problem was because the power was causing shit and then we didn't and then it just didn't work out yeah so, so. and supposedly on from tomorrow it's going to be stage six now if you don't know the country and this whole basically stage six is bad the uh stage six basically okay so basically what what what's happening with our power situation is that escom who does the whole power thing link link with the government haven't been uh doing what they should have been doing, you know, and, and you know, um, updating and looking after all the, you know, our nationwide power stations. And obviously, you don't do that, then bit by bit, they start to fall apart. And yep. So the government has said, well, well then we're just going to uh, shut off power in certain areas every day to try and save, pet- save, pet- save power that they don't run out of power. Ease, the, l- done ease the load, basically. Yeah, because yeah. they haven't done enough work. It's basically like, okay, it's working, so we're not going to fix it. We're not going to repair it no. because it's working. No. And all of a sudden, oh, it's not working because we didn't exactly, you dumb dumbs. Yeah. So stage six basically means power cuts uh, in in an area will be three times a day. And one of those periods. Morning, lunch, and night. And all Morning, the, afternoon, night time. And from stage six, one of those periods are, is four hours. Yeah. And the other two are two hours. So imagine you're in a country where four hours you just got no power. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. <sighs> and they knew, they knew when the country got handed to them on a silver platter that they were facing an, an ailing an ailing electricity um, provider that was still running on 1950s and 1960s technology. Well, here we are. And here we are. So, um, Yes. I obviously haven't gone yet because I'm still here, gone to New Zealand, but uh, little things like this, actually big things like this, I'm like, okay. Sort of kind of push you a little bit more. I'm okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll I'll deal with not having power for five or six hours, or four hours, whatever you said. Yes. Um, but anyways, hooray. Positive start to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hoo-ha. We're, we're the pr- this, is brought, this, po- this episode is brought to you by the power of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> not by ESCOM. <laughs> so I have um, something. I've got to be careful how I tread tread around this thing. Oh, please don't be careful. No, I have to. Cause oh. t- t- I tread. You just walk. You just run. Actually, I just I just freaking. You just barge barrel. through the door. I, exactly. I barrel. You barrel. And I barrel well. In your big Wellington boots, you just mulch actually, around. Actually, the caterpillars. But yeah. caterpillars. Well, anyways. <laughs> so this happened um, th- basically in the UK Parliament. Um, one of the uh, I don't know it's a, like like a, polit- a parliamentarian or a council wh- wh- whatever the wording is there he's he's in parliamentary a member of parliament my member there okay good. <laughs> An anyways <MP. laughs> and a, a member of parliament okay um, and um, it's come out that he got drunk one night and he groped two guys linked with the with you know within within the parliament whoever they were they were. They were on staff somewhere, so he said, "You know, n- you know, no, he was drunk, you know, and he didn't know what he was doing." 
So that's bad. Okay, let me just make it clear before I say this next part. That's bad. Okay. So two. Ma- so he groped two male. Yes. Members of staff or whatever. Yes. That's so like, that's that's what what was said. So he was drunk. They were cute, and one thing led to another. Something like that. Okay. Um, so <laughs> so that is bad. Okay. So I want to make it clear. I'm not, I'm not making a joke about that. Okay. Underline. What I do want to bring up is what his name was. It's a very English name. His name is Mr. Pincher. He's a parliamentarian called Mr. Pincher. Sure. It's a very unfortunate name to have when you're you know, playing around with, yeah. Sheepers. Jeepers Creepers. Young interns. I don't know, actually. Or, or maybe just. No, I think it was just random got, guys. Wow. He, he didn't go, ooh, interns. Okay. He just said, you know, no, he was just excessively drunk and he didn't. The whole <laughs> alcohol story. <laughs> and some of the, you know, and most want him out, but then there's a section that don't want him out. That's not the point. I just find it very interesting, very um, apt that his name was Mr. Pincher. So, yeah. Before we move on, I see my uh, my camera screen is not facing us, so I need to just make a quick adjustment. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. Okay, well, you can keep 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 on going. Um, there's um, <laughs> I've been getting some very interesting um, um, animal facts. You know, for some reason, I you know I've been looking into animal facts. So you know, at times when I'm bored or just randomly. But they make me think a lot. So I'll I'll bring in a few more animal fact thing maybe in our next you know in our next intro if you haven't got anything else to bring up. But I I'll, have a I have a little story. But okay, well, how about you bring your story now? Then I'll do this in, in our next next episode because the, the you know I mean this <laughs> the, the, this will last forever. So I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> so I'll bring it up next one. Okay, because it's very light and I have like a few questions like how did you really know that kind of thing. Okay, so you bring in your thing. Uh, I got slapped on the wrist by Facebook again. What did you do this time? I don't th- even think it was that bad. I didn't even say anything. What did you say? Because <laughs> now this is the second time. They're going to freaking red zone you soon. They're going to block your account. I actually, uh, all I did was I actually mentioned the name of someone on YouTube and they obviously didn't like that. And so... Um, okay, but in what context did so, you... Yeah, hmm? so so the the context was on my Facebook feed... Yes, because I'm that old. Um, I've been getting a lot of these um, adverts about this this quiz that men can take to understand about what women want. Okay. Oh my gosh, they, they are, that'll get you going. And so all I so sometimes this, what's fun is I just look through the comments just to see what people say, yeah. just for entertainment. And the one guy I saw, um, he basically uh, his statement was: "Be attractive, don't be unattractive." That's it. That's all he said. Okay. Be attractive or don't be unattractive. Well, just say be attractive, don't be unattractive. That's that's basically what he said. Okay. Now, right. one of the guys that I listen to on YouTube uses that statement quite a bit. Okay. And his name is Ryan Stone. Go check him out. He's pretty cool. Don't. And um, <laughs> and uh, he uses that quite often. And um, I, all I said, to, I replied to his comment, and I just said, "Wow, that's some Ryan, that's some Ryan Stone Ryan Stone knowledge right there." And apparently, I got in trouble for that. So because you mentioned Ryan St- Ryan Stone, which, yeah. which shows that he's uh, on another. Maybe he's he's on the he's on the Facebook watch list. I don't know. Anyway, so but that I mean, was my little what? Slap so Facebook wrist. said no because you use that that uh, person's name. Maybe yeah, maybe it. I I don't know. I can't even remember all that it said, but I got a little bit of a. But then that speaks a lot about that person. Then if Facebook are saying. Don't use his name. He's probably a little bit topical. Yeah, or maybe it was a maybe they they thought that I was trying to advertise. Or I I don't know. I I honestly don't know. But that was my little slap on the wrist. So, well, we had one on on YouTube, but it was like very short. It was like literally like was bizarre. So our last episode obviously was on the um uh, the um incel. Yes, and we did see like a a a very uh, we saw less. L- less views and I think your your thoughts were you, you know Got a be- because of the, the, the you know because of the actual um, um topic and so forth mm. you know because it's a you know it is topical I guess and it depends how you go through it mm. I mean how we bring it up I think we we brought it up reasonably you know like 
Yeah, it was just a... Yeah. I don't think we did it wrong. Mm. Um, but anyway, so I went on there and there was a comment, you know, from a guy, you know, which, which was, you know, it was good. And, you know, and then we, you know, we uh, uh, replied to it because, yeah, you know, I mean, he gave us, you know, a lot to think about. So thank you for that one. And then I went back on there a little while later and it was gone. Both our comments were, were gone, Ooh. completely taken off. <laughs> so then I was going to, you know, f find out more from, you know, from YouTube. And then, you know, I was like, OK. And then I went back on a while later and all of a sudden it was back on again. So back on. It's back up again. Yeah. So I, maybe it, it it was just a glitch in the system. Well, maybe it's a maybe it's an algorithm system. It maybe picks up on something, then sends it through its systems or whatever, and then the Possibly. algorithm decides, okay, this maybe isn't too bad, or it is too bad, or whatever, and then okay, it's worthy of being put back up. I don't know. I don't know how YouTube's <laughs> algor how YouTube algorithms work. algorithms. No, no, I don't. Th I don't it's, think we'll ever get that. Yeah, it's because it's all done. Because it's all Sorry. automated. It's not. It's not people sitting there going. No, they haven't got the time <laughs> to go imagine? through everybody's freaking YouTube videos. They will never finish because there's millions per day. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, uh, that's where artificial intelligence comes in. Yeah, they so. they're like zone, you know, zone in on a word or a phrase or yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You know, so that when they see, see, you know, like 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 incels, that's probably already. It's know, probably a bit of it. Yeah. It it already probably. So let me just go back again and see if it is. Has <laughs> a podcast. Okay, it's, it is back. Okay. And thank you to, I might say it wrong, but John John Milius. It was very good interaction, actually. Cool. It was actually really, really good. So thank you for inter interacting with us. Awesome. And I don't think it's him, but we are. We did get another subscriber as well. We're on 54. So thank cool. you, number 54, subscriber. Cool. Welcome to the family. <laughs> get us going, Bruce. Oh, it's on me, is it? Well, I've been talking like forever, <laughs> so yeah, you have. I need a breath. <laughs> so yes, the um, the current state of affairs regarding uh, transgender athletes in sport and um, the decisions by uh, certain sporting organisations. Um, most recently, the recent one was with FINA. FINA, yes, swimming. The International Swimming Federation. Yep, that has now. Um, so this this organization administers international competitions in water sports. Correct. Okay. And FINA has now banned uh, uh, transgender transgender women from uh, competing in women's swimming competitions. So yeah, and there are just the there there have been some other ones um, sort of in the in the past couple of months but this one is a, this was this the one major one, one though yeah. because this is this is the first time uh i need i think this is the first time that a major international you know s s sporting um co committee has actually like like said like straight down the line you know no yeah, no exactly. it's it's not going to happen yeah and obviously you know it has created Excuse the pun, ripples, but <laughs> <laughs> I have to use the word. Yeah, you yeah, have to. You get it. Sounds like it's planned, but um, waves. Uh, waves. There we go. It created waves in the community. <laughs> um, yeah. So we just thought, you know, I, I, and I mean, we were actually going to bring this last week, you know, because it was very, very yeah fresh last week, but unfortunately, yeah. Seems like we're a little late to the party. It's a little bit late, <laughs> but we were actually on time. It's gonna, it's, week it's, it's gonna carry on being an issue anyway. So it's, it's not like it's gonna go away anytime soon. Yeah, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so just over seventy percent of, um, of the delegates, um, of their at their twenty twenty two sort of meeting, whatever, to vote voted to approve. So there's a landslide vote against mm. against transgender athletes competing. In that, in swimming, in swimming, okay, yes. clear, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was yeah, this was Fina, yes, um, this was Fina delegate, um, yeah. So uh, the president, Hus uh, Hussein, Hus sorry, can't read my handwriting. <laughs> it is Hussein Al Musalam. Mm -hmm. um, his quote, he is quoted to have been saying, "We protect, we have to protect the rights of our athletes to compete, but we also have to protect competitive fairness at our events." Especially in the women's category. So that was his that was his answer. 
Um, the ruling the ruling went on to state that no athlete can compete unless a complete transition has happened by age 12. So Puberty, if, yeah. if anyone has gone through any sort of transition during or after puberty, sorry for you. Um, yeah. Yes, that, that is correct. What have you... That is correct. Um, what are your thoughts on, on that? Well, we're going to be having a whole conversation, so <laughs> that's a bit preemptive to ask oh. me right now. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, I can't... I can go on. I'm not going to give my full conversation. I'm not going to, you know, give my whole viewpoint until we're like into this actual conversation. Okay. Sorry. So okay. stay tuned. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I wanted to bring into, you know, like what, and at least you want to carry on, but uh, not yet. We but can, like I'll somewhere in there, I want to bring in what they have to do before they actually make that choice. You know what? It's it's pretty good timing. So bring bring that in. Okay. I think. Okay. Because yeah, because the big thing is like the a lot of the thoughts, you know. And like mine were also, and it's like, well, they just made a choice and they just went kabam. You know, they just said, no, it's bad. But well, what they actually do uh, is is an interesting thing. You know, whatever side of, side of, the, side of the fence you're, you're on with this, mm. um, it's just in, interesting to know that they actually, that Fina did actually do some form of, a, you know, of like a research, like an actual, they worked on a plan before they actually made this choice. Okay. So I'm going to read it out. It's just easier than me trying to rem- rem- remember this. So, the, so this uh, the n- new f- FINA policy. It um, came out of of a working group that had three components: an athlete group, a science and medicine group, and a legal and human rights group. Which FINA says st- studied the best available statistical, scientific, and medical evidence concerning sex differences in sports performance and any associated male sex based advantage they said that the science group okay which was the major which is like a big part of this yeah. was compromised of independent okay underline independent experts in the fields of physiology endocrinology and human performance including specialists in sex differences in human performance and in transgender medicine um Yeah, so I mean, so that already says that they actually that they didn't just make a hasty choice because of you know I'm pre you know like 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 I'm pressure pressure you know on them from from you know around <coughs> what was going on. They actually put I mean the science group was sorry I'll read it again because it just was compromised of independent experts in the fields of physiology endocrinology and human performance including specialists in sex differences in human performance and transgender medicine so they didn't just you know sit down one day and say this is what what we're going to do mm. there's actually a lot of research done into this to make this decision so people mustn't just think you know that that they just thought of this up they actually there's actually uh really powerful research put into this so that when this happened and people you know were where I'm questioning it you know well let's take a step back like we're doing now and actually see the work that was put into this before they even brought this up yeah, so they made an educated and studied yes studied and it decision. took some time as well it wasn't like you know one week and then yeah. it's like, oh okay, cool no this was going on for quite some time right okay yeah cool yeah, I must say I didn't go into the I didn't do, go into the depths of how they actually came mm. to the decision. So that was that's that's good. And yeah, I, I think I think any I think any sporting body would do well to to do that kind of research, not just sort of some knee jerk reaction. Absolutely. And it it might be uh, um, I could I I wouldn't be surprised if other sporting bodies possibly looked at their research to make their own decisions about about doing that. So yeah. Yeah, and they said like right at the end, you know, that, you know, in the Congress, this this big FINA Congress, which was in Budapest, that um, some of the members, you know, of that group that, the, you know, said that the evidence showed that going through male puberty gave trans women swimmers a physical advantage that remained even after hormone treatment as part of their transition. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, some of the research that I looked at as well. 
So yeah. even after a full year of um, sort of reducing reducing testosterone and um, increasing estrogen and that kind of thing, it's still they still retain those uh, those physical advantages. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's a there was a bit of a there's a, a bit of a sort of a dark side that I found to it, and it's uh, a lot. Of, some people are concerned that because of this decision, that it's it might encourage sort of um, parents to try and transition their child their children before puberty and stuff like that. So that's a, I've never heard that before. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a. But I doubt. Yeah, no. I mean, I would see that the only person that would have to make that choice is the actual person mm. who wants to have it. You know. Who wants to? Yeah. Wants to to um have a genetic test. I mean, imagine. Sorry. I mean, this is not what where it's going, but that's just. I mean, I it, that doesn't make any sense to me. Mm. Dude. I, I think that's more like. Yeah. Media frenzy and like one Maybe, yeah. one the, random YouTube mm. challenge, dude. No, 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 no. I I I doubt that would happen because I mean I'm sorry, dude, but I mean if that's your parents, and they're already wanting to. Oh, no, whoops, we made a No, I I somehow doubt that. Yeah. No. That sounds like a very, like a, um, a, a conspiracy theory of sorts, really. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. So just move from that. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, interesting quote from um, uh, WesternJournal.com. dot um, They are very. Uh, I'll, I'll cite them as they, they are a very um, sort of conservative leading, okay. leading um, publication. Um, and they basically said if FINA wanted to protect ch um, children and women's sports, they would institute a policy that males simply cannot compete against can females. Can I, sorry, uh, in, in the middle of this, can I switch on the light because our lighting is gone? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's, the sun has gone yeah. down and we don't have lights, so keep on. But, I mean, we need to because now it's, we're looking very dark there. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, cool. So carry on. Yeah. This is all, all happening as we <laughs> don't be at the same place. So it's fine. Working on natural light here. Yeah. Oh, no nice natural light. There we go. Yeah, that's the start. That should be cool. All right, carry on. <laughs> um, yeah. So they, yeah, it would, uh, yeah. So if they wanted to protect women in children's sports, it would be it would initiate a policy that males simply cannot uh, compete against um, females under any circumstances. Uh, any further caveats or conditions are both unnecessarily n unnecessary and potentially harmful to children. And this was the whole thing about, you know, the, you know, kids going you know, early transitions and that kind of thing. So, because they 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 institu instituted that that um, uh, that condition that only if the if the person has gone through a, tra tra a full transition yeah. before twelve o'clock, uh, before twelve o'clock, before twelve, 12 o'clock, twelve years, twelve years old, twelve years old. I made yeah. a mistake. So yeah, I. Kay. No, so they they believe that that it just should be a ban without any com if without any conditions whatsoever. Regarding this, yeah. So that's just right. something that's that their view. That's just something that I found. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, and then Fina um, then proposed a has has proposed a third open open trans. They said category. that they might do it, but I think that's just. Um, I wouldn't like to be. Okay, this is now my view. I mean, it's almost like it, and this is the, the the difficult thing. But it all, but it feels like it really ostracizes uh, transgenders then in sports because then you know it's like men, women, and then there's a whole another, a whole another class. And uh, anyways, carry on. I'm just but yeah, because but the but the thing is, men and men and women's events are separated anyway. Yes. So just adding a third separate event, I don't. It's interesting. I, I personally, I personally think it's, it's very inclusive and accepting. It's yeah. like you guys get your own. You get your you, own. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds like you, you get, get a get category. Your own. You get a category. I know. You, you, get you, a, have, you have your but, own category. But I'm, I'm, I'm honest. I, honestly, I do feel like, how much more inclusive and accepting can you get? Like well, we we if you want we think we think this is so important that well, that you guys are going to get your own category. Like when men get a category because that's important. Women get a category category because yeah. that's important. And transgender athletes get get now a third category. We that that to me I'm not I'm not being facetious or trying to take the piss. I'm yeah. actually yeah. 
I'm actually thinking that why is that not a viable option? Um, so, well, um, this is, you know, I've got to, you know, so from the other side of it, mm. a transgender person, you know, who has gone through, you know, um, you know, uh, who has gone through things, you know, to become more, you know, male or more female, mm. um, the transgender person, and this is why the, this is difficult, or maybe not difficult to some people. Um, it's a difficulty because, um, because they relate to a different, to a certain sexuality. And the moment that you say, well, you know, we'll give you your own, uh, you know, uh, what's that? You, you, your, your own category. Mm. It's saying that what you believe yourself, actually, we don't agree with. We don't believe that's so. So yes, fair enough. You know, you do get your own category, which is you know, which um, I th I just think it's um, I think it's a it, it's a I think that this what Fina has done. Um, is uh, I could guess you could say like a landmark thing, mm. but it hasn't made. I don't think it's. I don't think it's made. I think it's still going to be a very iffy situation for a long time. Yeah. So yes, you know they made that choice, but I think what they've done and the fallout and stuff is is going to be within sports for a very long time. You know? Oh yeah. If if you agree with them, if you don't, mm. um, because you know there <clears throat> are radicals on both sides. Mm. Um, Definitely, you know, and then there are just you know people who just want to do their swimming or do you know and do their sports and so yeah. forth. And this yeah. is where it's making things. Um, I think it's easy to go with one with you know with like w one side of it all. I just think it's it's. I think for myself, I think it's a good thing to be able to try and understand both sides. Mm. Unfortunately, you know, with this kind of thing, it's gonna. It's going to be co controversial on both sides of the fences. Yeah. And as you say, this is going to be with us for a, a, a very long time. Yeah. You see, it's just th thinking about um, the whole, the whole like th sort of third category. Yeah. Um, brought, I, I, I came up with a question and, um, and my, my question, maybe you can, maybe you can answer this is why are supposedly sort of non-binary and gender fluid um, can I for people who ideas. don't don't know that language, non-binary and fluid. Non-binary gender fluid. That's basically Which is? where people identify as not being male or female, kind of thing, or they sort of kind of kind of go between the two, kind of thing. And that. Um, okay. Because why why are they made, made being made binary by wanting to compete? in binary gendered okay again sports. you're gonna have to break down those words <laughs> so binary is basically black or white it's ones and zeros male or female mm -hmm. and now um when when someone is non-binary they're either they're neither they're so another male neither or female yeah um so what are they they're just exactly okay but now they're wanting to compete in a particularly binary one or zero but not sporting not category. no because not every transgender person is non-binary well it's it's not even no not even yeah. close but if they yeah but if they went from one to there the other, might be a portion but the majority mm. no but i mean from of transgenders are not non-binary mm. they i i mean unless you can, unless i'm wrong but the, but i from from what i understand you know again you know this is our research and views and you know and views as well which mm. So it might not be the same as everybody else, which is fine. Uh, from what I understand, transgender people don't, uh, they r relate to a certain sex. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, cool. To uh, a male or a female. Okay, but they, yeah. they don't go, I'm transgender and I don't relate to anybody. Right. I'm sure there are. Okay, yeah. I'm sure okay, there I are. Your, I get your point. I get but your what point. you're saying, yeah. it doesn't equate to, that's a, yeah, no, that's true. to that's the true. transgender community. Right. Yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That was my mistake. Oh, that's why we're here to <laughs> question each other.
It's quite all right. I just hit questions going through my head and I just write them down. <laughs> Which is why you bring them up <laughs> and, <laughs> and we can break them down and see if they're for real or not. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, man. Um, y- y- yeah. So, I mean, this, uh, um, and, and we were having a chat as well about this. Um, the first, I mean, this is, you know, obviously be, been happening for, for years and years and years and years. But one of the first major sporting, you know, um, sp- uh, sport event that took place that, you know, that was with the transgender was a weightlifter from Australia, from New Zealand. Mm. Uh, don't know if you remember the person's name. I Laurel, don't. Laurel Hubbard. I can't remember his male name. Uh, but... That's fine. Yeah. So Laura Hubbard was was involved um, in a in and I, I I'm, I'm sorry I can't remember exactly w- what um you know what like if it w- if it was you know um like a big a big international event you know like a like like a you know like, um a world event I can't remember um. on what he was doing but basically he was a or she was a. Uh, Weightlifter, yes, and managed to you know to obviously on well, obviously um, from all the research and stuff managed to weight you know to lift higher, yes, than the majority. No, sorry, than everyone else. Beat some of the fe- beat the female in her group. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it, and it got to a point where where the ladies in that division were like saying you know so you know, it's incredibly it's, unfair. it's really unfair and yeah. we and we may as well not you know not even compete because we know that we are going to lose mm. and they weren't being mean about it or horrible about it or anything they're just saying they were just saying this is just not fair mm. i mean it's going to happen every single time that we do this yeah. that that you know that we will get beaten yep and they said you know this so so he was in there or, or she was in there um at, and and then the swimmer was here and there was another um, I think it was linked with, with uh, rugby. There's there a, was a third a hand, one we were talking a hand, about. There's a handball. It's a, I don't know. I think it's in a, also in Australia, but there's a there's a handball team. Okay. That have a transgender. And I got a <laughs> this dude's built like a brick shit house. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you want to see the the row of them lined up, and, and then, then it's like and you can tell, and then it's like Megatron. You yeah. know, yeah. <laughs> all these beautiful girls, and then Megatron, yeah. and um, yeah, and yeah, it's Megatron. <laughs> that's very um, pretty crazy. Well, it's a uh, it's a very nice. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's what Gareth Cliff used to call. Serena that's what Williams. Bruce has said. I think it's. A little, I mean, I'd probably use softer terminology, but um, <laughs> I guess that's why we're different. But <laughs> what he's trying to say is that he did is that the person didn't equate with the rest of the females on the team. No. <laughs> We can just say it in a nice way. Definitely not. Even not calling them names might be. Um. <laughs> anyway, so yes, and they've been through throughout sports, but the major ones, you know, that I really got. Oh, the the secondary one before this this Fenia thing that that also came up was in in um college um uh, college athletics. Oh uh, yes. And she was involved in he she was involved in um uh, I think it was. Cross country. Okay, but it, it was it it was running. You know, I think it was mm. cross country. But again, research hasn't been done completely on that one. I'm sorry, it was just in the brain, um, and that also created a lot of ripples. Um, quite a few of the the uh, girls they they um uh, they um t- uh, they they um took it t- you know t- to one of the. The the the, the um, higher courts, mm-hmm. you, you know, in 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 their state, yeah, and um, it was a big thing. And I I know that there was some form of a a founding from it, but I don't know what it was. Um, yeah. Sorry, I didn't, you know, you know, um, you know, I put it in my notes. But the point is that there mm-hmm. have been some pivotal moments before this Fenia thing happened. Yeah, um, there was a, also one happened in a. But I won't get in, into it now. But with um, UFC as well. Mm. Um, but I think it's, 
I think it's gotten to a point where now FINA, uh, it's been a bigger thing because they've now like made a very clear cut down the line, like there's like no maybe or or if he or she does this or is in this, this is saying. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so and, and 19 states in America so far have, um, have banned trans athletes. In some shape or form. Trans athletes in what sports or? Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't. Have they banned them from what though? They've uh, banned them from competing on various levels. Okay. Within those different states. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, but but it's across the sports. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't sort of go into okay. what sports that had been, but uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um. See what else we got here. Yeah, you can carry on. I've got one or two things. Um, yeah, so yeah, so we can we can go back to you know even after a you know, from a even after a year of um, sort of the hormone replacement th uh, therapy or the or the sort of the testosterone reducing therapy or whatever, um, trans women have still retained um, much higher advantage physical strength and speed. Um, there was research done by Dr. Timothy Roberts. Okay. He is the associate professor at University of Missouri, Kansas City. Okay. And he found that still after a year, um, uh, they, the trans athletes still outperformed the female athletes. Um, and um, also sports scientist Tommy Lundberg also reached the same conclusion. So a lot of... <laughs> Three lot people... Of <laughs> Well, well, including including all the science that I'm was done kidding. by Fina and everything, and all these other guys. So yeah, yeah, it's 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 always going to be a a huge oh, kind of bone of contention. Absolutely, like absolutely. And, yeah. um, so um, so there's this thing about you know um, about you know uh, Leah Thomas, who is this you know the the um, the a lady a woman who won the um transgender woman who won this um you know with this whole thing with fina mm. um and um no okay i i when i'm sorry because you know because um i'm I'm looking it up as we go, mm. you know, like live, and it's not the article that I wanted. Um, I'm not really going to, you know, like really going to go into the, like, I intensely into it because it's, it's numbers and it's it's a very, but um, so this is a thing I was, you know, like, um, how to tell if a transgender can compete. Now again, I think you, you know, if you like really want to know more about it, you know, you know. You know, go into Google and say how to tell if a transgender can compete because there's a lot of, a lot of articles, um, but but um, here's like a very l l light light touch on it kind of thing. So the concentration of testosterone in a transgender woman's blood must must be less than five nanomiles per liter continuously. Now this is the thing. Now it it has to be for at least three years before she can compete. So Leah Thomas, it's um, before she could actually get to this point, she she was going through through um through um through her uh, what did you call it oh, testosterone reduction therapy, therapy whatever for three years. Okay. So a transgender person cannot just <clears throat> rock up at a pool and swim. Mm. You know, you know, with you know, with fe fe with the w with the female or male, what kind of thing? It's the actual um, process. So she actually, you know, you know w went. So they basically monitor um, your 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 uh, blood level, and this is a thing called nanomiles, and it has to stay less than five for at least three years before they can compete. So this is the thing as well. I think people might think, you know, well, you know, uh, you know, like, it, it, you know, that they, they, they are are a transgender, and then they just, you know, went and they swam and they won and they beat everybody. It takes uh, uh, f for at least three years, okay. And then additionally, a panel. Okay, now this is now another thing. 
Additionally, a panel of three independent medical experts must determine whether a swimmer's prior development as a man gives her an advantage over her cisgender competitors. So it's not a, I think this is very helpful because it's not just a, yes, change, swim, go. It's an actual process, and which is why I feel that that more research needs to go into this. Now, here's an interesting thing, and again, you know, this is like very, very, very technical, so I'm not really going to go much more than this. Um, um, so basically, um, what is a normal testosterone in females? Now, now, I don't know this nanomoles, this is how they do it, um, you know, uh, but doctors measure testosterone in nanomoles per liter. And the reported normal, in apostrophes, healthy range in males is anywhere from 9.2 to 31. It is about 10 times um, lower in females, right. with normal levels considered to be between 0.3 and 2.4. Okay. So a transgender, um, they have to now... This now, you know, goes on to the other side of the fence now. They're going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they have to, it must be less than five nanomoles per liter continuously for at least three years. So male, 9.2 to 31, you know. So really, you know, the what the male side, that's, you know, they won't make it through. Interesting enough, though, is that, or, yeah, interesting enough, is that the woman normal levels are between 0.3 and 2.4, and transgender have have to be less than five, um, and the current IOC policy d d dictates that transgender women must have a testosterone level less than 10 per liter. So, um, it is quite a in depth uh, um, process. You know, it's a very in depth and. Uh, yeah, it's not as simple as, you know, from uh, from both sides' views. Both sides, it's not as simple as they make it out to be. It's it's actually quite a uh, in-depth, um, you know, a process of, you know, of... So I understand... Uh, f I can understand f from both sides of the table. You know, as you know, as to their views and stuff, and I guess it's that's why they why they have a board, you know, a, yeah. a, a um, you know, a board like Fina mm. to say, all right, I can hear both sides, and we've done, and this is the way that that is going because yeah, it's it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot. So I mean, uh, I'm guessing. Um, your, I mean, I think I, th I think you've already mentioned your views. Yours is it makes, and it's it's not a. I know with you, it's not a judgmental side of things. And with me, from what I'm going to say, it's not judgmental. Mm. It's like, where do you stand on all of this? I, yeah, I, I stand with I, I stand with Fina yeah. with their decision. I I completely believe that transgender athletes have a clear cut advantage. And it's completely unfair on women yeah. in sports. It's um, my my views of around this situation are incredibly binary. Uh, I will, yeah, and that's I, w I won't change. No, um, sure. So yeah, I, I look at all this going on and I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I really I keep my I keep my ear close to the ground on this because it's it's gonna it's it's a it's a big thing, and yeah. So I yeah. I fully believe that. I, I think it's a. I, I personally feel it's a. It's a win for for, for um, a win for who though? Because it's <laughs> it's not a competition. No, 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 no. no it's just <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, it's just, just the word win. Like, yeah. No, I think it's I, quite a strong I, thing to I say. I think it's. I, I think it's good that 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 sort of international organisations are finally sta are kind of saying no, um, and I just are and because we've had a lot of organisations just sort of kind of pandering and bowing the knee which I don't which, yeah. I, which I don't agree with so I'm, uh, yeah that's where I stand well that's good that's fine yeah 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 I, I think with me I think I can understand uh, why that, that they m I can understand the the uh, thought processes and the decisions in the sense where where if it is proven to me it needs to be proven that that 
that the transgender and I know there is a, from our conversation you know that you know there is proof I just I, I don't know I mean it's just like and I, don't, I know it, it can't be like a, um, a case case by case you know because otherwise you know, they'll be doing it forever mm. um so I can and I I can understand both sides, and I'm not like you know I'm not going to make a choice because you know I don't want to. Um, I can understand what Fina is saying in the sense of if 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 there is proof that a transgender person has more um, has more um, uh, power skill you know linked to their sport over you know you know like where we are now you know. Um, over the females, I could understand the concerns and stuff. And and I think for me, as long as the research and the understanding has has been done mm. properly, yeah. and not just you know just we're gonna. But from 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 what we went through, it seems like they have actually done the research before they can do it. I can understand though the the fallout from that. Mm. I can huge. understand the fallout from that. I can understand. No, I won't. Ever be, you know, you know, you know, I can't relate, obviously, but I can understand on both sides of the thing, you know, with the human rights and so forth. And, um, yeah, look, I think it makes sense if somebody is is in a sport with you and they do have an, an advantage that you you can never have, exactly. Um, so I can understand that. I can also just understand the frustration or process, you know, where someone's saying, Well, I don't relate to my sexuality. It's a difficult one, but I can see both sides. But uh, yeah, um, as you say, this is not going to be the, the, the last that is heard from this. I mean, the no. um, the the um, the um, national um, so the so international FINA, um, so the you know so like, you know um, each each uh, each state I think is linked with the board and so forth. So. Th from what I've been reading, it hasn't really been t been taken on yet, you, you know, um, as a choice on that level. Okay. But I don't, you know, but I, but, but I would imagine, you know, after what's been happening now, they're going to be questioning and saying, well, do we do we agree with it? Because now they can't get backlash because the data is saying, well, I'm going with what Fina is saying. We're just, yeah, you know, yeah, we're just a, a level below. So. Anyways, I think it's as you say. This is not going to be the last we hear of it. It's no. going to be going in a whole pile of you know um, of other s sports as well, uh, and I'll be interested you know to like actually you know hear or read the feedback to what is the feedback you know from the the um, transgender community in in the sense of like okay well we can't swim but now we 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 are given our own class yeah. you know um, our own yeah. Uh, I'm interested to actually know if it's going to be a positive or a negative thing. Hmm. That's been an interesting discussion. Yeah, I'm glad we could, I'm glad we talked about it because I'm sure yeah, it, was, it was something we we were going to need to address at some stage. I'm sure we'll come back to it. Yeah, but yeah I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like pretty fresh. It's only been a few weeks actually yeah, yeah. from Fina. So yeah. and there'll be uh, there'll be other there'll be other stories. To I talk think about there'll as be well, a so. ripple effect across to to, to um, other sports now. Um, yeah. Because one has actually said yes, no. Yeah. So now other sports are going to say, okay, cool, because they have said no. Now we can, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I think this has been the Spaghetti Junction podcast. <laughs> I think it has been. Uh, we have, uh, yes, it has been, Bruce. Guys, uh, yes, check us out on uh, check us out on Instagram as well. And um, like, comment, subscribe. What do share. we do though on Instagram? Not really much. <laughs> we do just. But, but just give us a give know. us a follow. Give us a follow. On I Instagram just, anyway. I just want to know what we do on Instagram. Um, we don't do much. We don't no. do much. We're not. We're not. It's not like we're doing videos. Going, hey, check us out. Check <laughs> out. You know all that kind of thing. Well, maybe when when we hit like sixty subscribers, then we'll. Yeah. Video once <laughs> How's that? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so when we're Jeff. on 60, we'll actually make our. I mean, it's not a bad side, we just don't do a lot, as you say. Yeah. No. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Bye.